guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, Episode 1, Part 3. I have some exciting news. The second episode of The Wolf Among Us is actually coming the first week of February, so definitely expect that. But in the last part, we, um, oops, sorry about that. In the last part, we had the option to either go to Prince Lawrence's house or Toad's house, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make that decision and all that good stuff. Toad was happy to see him. Well... Maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, you didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? All right. We're going to go to Prince Lawrence's house uh, hey, hey, first. Hey, hey, listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... <laughs> he can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. All right. Lawrence's apartment, South Bronx, early morning. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Okay. Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are here on official Fabletown business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. All right, so we have the option to go to this window right here or this front door. We're going to go ahead and try the front door first because that's kind of like the polite thing to do. And then if that doesn't work, we'll try it out again. Just open it. Lawrence, you in there? Um. Hey, open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. All right. Um. <laughs> okay then. So there's also the other option. You only have two options. It's that, or you can go check out the window right here. Oh, so let's go ahead and do that. Which it is, of course, opened a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead and open it. All right, we'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. <laughs> All right. A gun. Hmm. Oh my. <gasps> Was he murdered? What the hell? Next two people's dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Oh. Who would do Who this would kill death? both of them? I don't know, Snow. Oh my gosh. He looks really ratchet though. It kind of hurts. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, uh, let's go look at this picture of Faith and Lawrence right here, actually. Faith was so pretty. Oh. Before all this. All right, let's go ahead and uh, touch this blood right here. Let's do it. I would never. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. It's still a little sticky, which means it's fairly fresh. All right, let's see what's in here. Pull his bed down. There's a note. What is that? Let me see it. It's stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you. And I cannot endure knowing that I have. 
This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Oh my, so it was suicide. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh! <gasps> oh my god. Vicky, that was alive. so. <gasps> oh! What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh my oh. goodness. This what is so. This is like What's a really good soap opera. We found you here in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. All right. Uh, let's what? see. What? What's this about? What happened? What happened? I don't know. I... Uh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. But you're not. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Ooh. Probably had a lot. Great. Uh. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Okay. These are a little fuzzy. So what about Faith? Like, when was the oh, last right. time you saw her? Bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. Mm. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. No. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. Oh my goodness. No. Oh. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly Aww. help us. Fuck, Georgie. Oh? Who's Georgie? That's my brother's <laughs> name. <laughs> Lawrence. I, uh... Who the hell is at the door? Not now, mm -hmm. man. Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. Oh my goodness. You need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. Play you can't dead. Move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is intense. Somebody is breaking in. Oh my goodness. Oh, he no. was. I don't know if I did that wrong or something, because Lawrence did put a gun near him, so I don't know. Hey, stop! He's chubby. You'll catch up to him. Leave me alone! He literally looks like a meatball. Shit! Didn't see that. Damn it! Dude, are you effing kidding me? 
Are you effing kidding me? He looks like a meatball. Why is this so hard? Damn it. Yes. What a little meatball, Snooky. Oh, Big B! Come on, come on, you got this, you got this. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Oh my goodness. Yes! We got him. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Yes. Stay down, Snooky. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Then why did you run? Okay. Run after you. Why? Yeah, why did you run? Did you it doesn't run? make any sense. What? He looks like a bulldog. Why did you run? And Snooky. Fuck, man. Because you after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? Well, why did you break in? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. No. Nope. Can't say that I do. <laughs> Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh. My... What? <gasps> Tweedledee, Tweedledum. Oh. My. Goodness. So there's two Snookies. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty owl. <laughs> With an open wound on the back of your head. Yeah. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you. That explains mm. ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, a.k.a. two Snookies. J. Wow and Snooky. There we go. See if there's anything there that can get us back <laughs> on the trail. Alright. That sucks, man. They were really suspicious, though, so... I have a feeling they're up to something. The Woodman's Apartment, South Bronx, early and morning. And ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. <laughs> Looks worse in the day. Oh, here we are. Here's I Toad's don't car. I think anybody's here. <laughs> There's our hole. <laughs> we came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. Oh. It's over now. Oh, listen to the little frog cry. <laughs> all right, let's go see. Why? What happened with Toad? I'm kind of curious to know. Is that his son? Toad's, I think. It's kind of sad. Be nice in there, okay? Yeah, I do feel bad. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B uh -huh. and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Come on. Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Hmm. Something's going on. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just <laughs> like his dad. Wanna? So I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to. No. What? What happened? Anymore. 
I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but it's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. Yep. I Relax. Just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I, I have a cup of tea, whatever you like. I'd like some tea, please. <laughs> TJ, are you all right? Mm hmm. There you are. Oh. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it. It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> Aww. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's a broken lamp. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Mm-hmm, yeah. dead. The lamp just fell off the table. <laughs> All the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? I don't think so, Toad. Be honest with us. Come on. All right. Let's see. I want the truth from you, Todd. Todd, Toad. I want the truth well, from you, Toad. Just paint one of these days. Look, you want me out of here? I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Seriously. Life needs a little brooming. That's all. No. What is really going on, Toad? Like, obviously, your little kid, your little boy was just crying. There's a broken lamp on the floor. What's up? <laughs> Alright, this is for the fireplace. It has blood on it. Hmm. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Mm -hmm. oh, I, was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Mm -mm. Foot like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Pokes have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Something happened. And I want to know what. Oh, here's some blood on the wall. How did that blood from your foot get on the wall, hmm, Mr. Toad? <laughs> I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rat. Must have got some on the furnishments. Come clean. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I did cut my hand. Yeah, I okay. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ruinous flip of events, really. Okay. Hmm. Something's up here, and I want to know what. Oh, my. God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve, solve here, here Sheriff. Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. <laughs> I don't believe it. Why don't you believe me? I mean, let's see. Happen, you know. I think you're I hiding, think something. You're hiding something. Yes. Hiding something? Maybe. But uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But mm -hmm. I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll yep. see. Alright. Let's see. Uh, let's go upstairs and uh, come in here really quickly and talk to his son. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. <laughs> How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises Aww. on his head. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought him up. What's going on? I'll stay with the kid until I figure out why. Mm-hmm. Come on, Toad. What's up? Let's see. Busted. Why is the lock busted? Lock. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. 
Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Oh no. <laughs> Toad, seriously, are you gonna make me search your whole damn house? Just come out with it already. Really. I should probably get that thing fixed. Toad, I know you're lying about the blood. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. I cut myself on the poker thing. No. Come on. You said you cut <laughs> your foot. You said you cut your hand. And that much blood? Mm, it's not adding up, buddy. Come on. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Me boys in the other room, Big B. I'm not gonna now. hurt you. We're friends, right? Dude, your kid's in the other room. I'm not gonna, like, hit you. That's just not right. Uh, let's see. Is there any other evidence? Oh, right here. Okay. Ooh. There's marks. There's some marks here. On the windowsill. And what's that about? <laughs> no real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Okay. Seems a little... A little strong. You, uh, Some strong uh, marks. The new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? <laughs> Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Junior was home. Why didn't he let you in? It was the middle of a sodding night, Bigby. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Hmm. Toad talked his way out of that one. I should have picked uh, how the door was busted. It would have made sense. All right, let's intimidate him a little bit this more. A bit dusting, I suppose. All right, let's see. Toad, I know you're lying about the blood. What, what do you mean? I'm not lying. I cut myself on no, the back thing. Come on. You said you cut your foot. You said you cut your hand. hand in that much, much blood? blood? Mm, it's not adding up, buddy. It really isn't. Come on, Mr. Toad. Stop making this so difficult. What can we examine next? I don't think there is anything other than... Oh, right here. Yes. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Mm, that was thrown. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing mm -hmm. happened, mate. Nothing! And mm -hmm. why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlet. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. Oh, I did some refiguring. <laughs> and fuck who And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. 
Not <laughs> yet, you say, to my face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had the go of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? The truth? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell mm -hmm. me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think... <laughs> oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Oh. Take off the hat. <gasps> oh my goodness. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. <laughs> Come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had. I don't know. He so the Tweedledee, place. Tweedledum. I said I didn't have it. Came here. If you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. Oh. He hurt Toad Jr. Oh. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big V? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take the live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. What did you tell him? Poor TJ. Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. <laughs> Poor TJ. No. Coat. He wouldn't take it. TJ's so cute. The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? <laughs> don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. You are merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. <laughs> Fine All right. Cassidy's. So he was just trying to protect his family. This little boy who's so cute. Uh, ew. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. <laughs> that is terrifying. Wait. Alright, so there's a note on this like horse costume, whatever this is, donkey, I don't even know. I'm pretty Remember. sure it's a donkey. Fucking hell, of course there is. If my luck it's a map to some Faith, I'm pretty blues. sure. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you All want right. to do with it? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't hmm. know. But maybe Lawrence does. All right. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? <laughs> I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. <laughs> It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Oh. Thanks. Uh, see ya. He's so cute. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Trip trap. All right. Poor little TJ. TJ's my favorite character. <laughs> He's so cute. I don't even like frogs, but he's so cute. Or I don't like toads or frogs or anything like that. Does it always go that <sighs> smoothly? Not often. So, <laughs> split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find it. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. All right. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Alrighty, guys.
guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Now, I will be uploading more of this coming later today, most likely. I just have to put a new graphics card in my computer and do all that good stuff today. And more Sims videos are coming and stuff today. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.